Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how routing works in Angular 15. In the previous video, we have seen what is the routing and why routing is needed. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch part 26 of this tutorial series where we discuss about the routing. So let's see how the routing works. So before that, like we, have, we know like why we use the routing. So basically, if we want to navigate between the component, or for an example from one component to the next component like another component I want to go on any button click then we use the routing through the routing only we can do so for an example when I click on any button and I want to navigate to the another component so what happened like how it process so basically like first what it do it pass the URL now for an example before that let's go here and see how the routing we define now for an example on a button click or anything I want to navigate on the student so what we have to do first we have to give the path and here we have to give the names so for an example here I am saying student and then we have to define the component name like which component you want to navigate so I want to navigate to the student if I want to pass the parameter we have to assign here so this is the basically format like from on the click event I want uh, if I want to go to the student component, then this is the way of uh, writing the uh, like route. Now, what it do? When user asked to navigate to the specific page, then first Angular router take the URL and then router parse it as a URL tree. And now, in which format it parse? So these are the way it parse it. So first is the slash. So slash divide URL segment. Next is the parenthesis specify secondary route colon specify named router outlet and this semicolon specify a matrix parameter question mark separated the query string parameter and single slash is basically used for the fragmentation and double slash is basically to separate multiple secondary route so in this format a particular when we click on a link and then uh, this router basically split to all these type of the uh, like uh, formats now when it go to the like when we redirect so before angular router use the url tree it check that if a redirect should be applied like what kind of the redirect it's a local redirect or the absolute redirect what is the meaning of the local redirect is basically when redirect doesn't start with the slash replace a single url segment so that is the first thing another is when redirect start with the slash replace the entire url so that is the way like uh, uh, it identify when the case comes of the redirect next is identify router state so angular router traverses the url tree and matches the url segment against the path means against this path it check it identify so um, like basically now if it matches then child route matches the remaining url segment until full path doesn't match in the sense like from the student we have the another child piece also so through that also what we can do like it identifies so for an example here we have the children now through the children if like this student page we have another uh, like specific user information so related uh, that also it check in the path and it check until the full path doesn't match next is the guard or we can say the run guard it works like a guard for angular application it means it check for the user like user is authorized to the access url or not so in the coming videos when we will uh, see the authorization based on the url then we will see there is a one called uh, this auth guard so it check like particular user is authorized to access that page or not so such kind of the things also we can do another is basically resolve run resolver so it resolve the required data to the router state next is the activate again it is a check like whether you user is activated to the see the particular page or not and then manage when new router is displayed on the browser it see for the new request and do the needful so basically it is needed when we uh, check for the lazy loading so like it already identify like which page we need to be load the next so, so all this is the way of doing the 
routing like when we click on a particular url or like basically when we are going to navigate a particular url either clicking on button or just giving that url so this is the process happens through the routing so that is about like how angular routing works so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you